Tastes Like You by Clary Potter, read by Kind Bet. Relationship includes Draco Malfoy, Harry Potter. Additional tags include synesthesia, Hogwarts eighth year, roommates, and falling in love. Summary. Harry has always been able to taste Draco's emotions. Harry has always been able to taste, to sense, what Draco's feeling. Sadness like something viscous and dull on his tongue. Rage like roiling dark clouds overhead and hot flames biting at his heels. Happiness like diluted sunshine, little drops of golden light. Whenever Draco thinks of Harry, it tastes like the air after a thunderstorm, alive with ozone and the sense of waiting. There's always some other feeling whispering through, sometimes scant, like motes of dust in the sunlight. Other times, it's so thick Harry thinks he may choke. Usually, it's that smoldering anger, or deep aching resentment like embers burning low, the smell of soot, or jealousy like dust heavy in the air, gritting against his teeth. The war rose and then receded around them, left their feet clumsy and heavy beneath grief and guilt and loss like dull, wet sand. The castle walls sheltered them for the last time. One final school year, a room shared between them in the dawn and the dark. And for the first time, Harry tastes something new. Every morning, early, before either of them get out of bed, Draco's always thinking of him. The prickle of lightning thrums around him, and often there's the tingle of flames or coal smoke. But this new smell, like linen fresh off the line, like softness, like soap, it feels safe and warm. Like, like a home is supposed to feel. At first, he stays in bed and presses his nose to his pillow to drown it out, overwhelmed. But the days go by, and he wakes up aching for the comfort it brings, clenching his fist around the quilt whenever the prick of guilt reminds him what he's doing. It's not until another new smell settles into place that he begins piecing it together. And this smell, like skin, like sweat, like places sweet and private, makes his cheeks heat without knowing why makes his body restless and aching and wanting. It's the fifth day, by the time he realizes what it means, what it always meant. He curls his courage into a fist and wraps it against the side of Draco's four-poster. The surprise, like champagne bubbles sparkling against his tongue, and the embarrassment, like eddies of cold ochre paint sliding down his throat, only last a few seconds before Harry presses his mouth to Draco's and they're kissing. It tastes like a heart thrumming against his chest, quiet and certain and solid. It tastes like home. You have just finished listening to Tastes Like You by Clary Potter. If you enjoyed this story, please leave them some feedback on archiveofourown.org slash work slash 42499551. And if you enjoyed my reading of the story, you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash kindbed. I'm so sorry if I sound weird. I am currently sick. So that's also why I haven't been posting much. Uh, I think the past two weeks, I've just been really sick. And today, I think my voice sounds much better than it did before. So hopefully I can get back into reading. Yeah.